anything else. That. Uh, uh, Dad, I wanted to call my kids. Hand? Welcome to U.S. Corrupt Cops, where we delve into the stories of law enforcement officers who cross the line and face the consequences. In today's video, we'll explore five compelling cases where corrupt cops regretted messing with the wrong person. From wrongful detentions to abuse of power, these incidents highlight the importance of accountability within the police force. If you like this video, press 1. Our initial case features multiple cops forcibly entering a man's residence and detaining him merely for parking his truck on an incorrect street. On June 22, 2024, in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, cops confronted Richard McMahon, who had parked his truck sideways in a neighborhood, obstructing traffic flow. The manner in which these corrupt cops managed the situation was, to put it mildly, unprofessional. Uh, just wanted to let you know that the trailer is legally parked. Okay. Uh, so, I can go park anywhere in the gold pack we're waiting for. The way he's parked is legal. The way you were parked when I showed up was not. So, I need to see your driver's license so I can issue a citation for blocking the roadway. I didn't block the roadway. I, yes, you did. I saw you. And, listen. Hey, 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 hey. As the footage reveals, the cop demanded that Mr. McMahon present his driver's license which he refused to do. Despite his lack of cooperation, the corrupt cops attempted to force their way into his home. This action was unlawful because the law presumes that homeowners grant a general license or permission for anyone to approach the front door. It is up to the homeowner to decide whether to answer the door, and cops typically cannot force entry without a warrant. The homeowner can revoke this general license at any time by asking someone to leave or indicating they are not welcome. If someone enters or stays on the property after being asked to leave, it constitutes trespassing. Consequently, these corrupt cops infringed upon Mr. McMahon's Fourth Amendment rights, which protect individuals from unreasonable searches and seizures without probable cause and a proper warrant. Getting a traffic crime, you do not have the right to do that. You are hey, detained. You are detained. Come in my house. You are detained. For what? For the traffic violation I observed. You're I need to see your license. You're detaining me for a traffic violation. Yes, I am. Open the door. <laughs> You're detaining me. Come here. You are under arrest. You are oh, under arrest. God. Yep, oh. you are under arrest. All five of you. <laughs> no. Hey, hey. Oh. Hey, hey. Young man. Hey, let me go. Hey. <laughs> You are under arrest. Quit resisting. <laughs> Not yep. resisting. Get me on. Good lord. Hey guys. Oh my god. Don't break my. Quit hey. resisting. Ow. Quit resisting. I'm not. Ow. You are actively resisting against me. I am. Not. Holy. Now you're under arrest for resisting arrest, obstruction, and the parking violation. <laughs> okay. All right, don't move so I can get these locked. I never resisted you to begin with. Yes, you did. All five of you hit me. <laughs> it's all on body cam, sir. Yes, it is. All right, we're going to get you rolled over. Okay. All right. All right. Let's stand you. All right. Wait. All right. Can I bring anything with me? What would you like? My cell phone. Where's that? Right there. We'll grab anything else. That should do it. Okay. You want your shoes? Oh, yeah. There's a leash right there, sleeper. What's your dog's name? Pepper. Guys, watch. Assault. Other shoe. What crime? Parking violation. Hey, hey. I'm going, guys. I'm hey. going. I'm going. Hey, real quick. We did this once. Do not do Ow! it. Hey, stop. This can go either which way you choose. I'm All choosing right? to we go can peacefully. You can keep walking out there, or you can keep fighting us I'll and go, go out to the ground. Do you understand? Come on, Pepper. Yes. yes. All right, let's go. A physical altercation broke out, 
during which the corrupt cops grabbed Mr. McMahon and held him inside his own home. Their behavior violated their department's use of force policy, which mandates that cops only use the amount of force legally permitted. The force applied must be reasonably necessary based on the entire situation. Reasonably necessary means that all other options to achieve the desired outcome have been tried or would be ineffective under the circumstances. I'm not gonna... I thought I could walk out here peacefully. I thought that... Yeah, we shut the door. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Mayor, can you please shut the door? Keep walking. Ask him, I don't know! What am I? I told you. Somebody grab the phone. Never even heard of it. Right? Hey, mom, you want to hear? Wow. All right, Rich, you have anything on you? No. Okay. What's up, bro? Sleep, did you get the phone? We get the phone. Yeah. It was right next to that uh, that end table. Let me get the air turned on for you. Y'all oh, said get animal at large. Really? Well, I don't think we can push the animal at large. Yeah, I'm not willing to push that. Did Sleeper awesome. get the dog, dog back inside? Yeah, dog's back, back inside. Was that... Mr. McMahon was subsequently taken to the police station. The incident between him and the corrupt cops is still under investigation. The department chief has declined to publicly explain why the agency released Mr. McMahon, or why the corrupt cop who arrested him was sidelined during the internal affairs investigation. Next, we examine a case where corrupt cops tackled and brutally detained a deaf man who couldn't understand their commands. On September 18, 2019, in Idaho Springs, Colorado, Brady Mystic, a deaf man, allegedly ran a stop sign before pulling into the Aromat parking lot. Unaware, two local police department cops, Nicholas Hanning and Ellie Summers, followed him. The subsequent body cam footage captures the events. Hey, let me see your hands! Bird, get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground right here! Get, get on the ground! You, Bird, you shark, get on the ground! Over here! On the ground! On the ground! Get on the ground! You, do you not listen? Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! There's a gun behind me. There's a gun, I believe, behind me. I ain't got no gun next. Put your hands behind your back. Is there a gun back there? No gun. By that truck. No gun. You're not listening, dude. Mr. Mystic is deaf in both ears and primarily communicates through sign language making him unable to understand the cops' commands. Despite this, the corrupt cops immediately grabbed him and slammed him to the ground. According to the Idaho Springs Police Department's use of force policy, cops should only use force that is reasonably necessary based on the facts and circumstances at the time. Who's the complainant? All right, get, up, get, get him up. 25 city, got one tank. Put your leg that way so you can stand up. All right, listen. Somebody help. Hold on. Hold on. All right, ready? One, two, three. All right. Yep. Listen. Yep, they slammed my head listen. down on the cement. Yep. Go back inside. Go back in the house. Go back in the yep. house. Ain't nobody talking to you. I got head drum. Go back in the house. Yep. Y'all push my head down. Yeah, I've been in an accident. Yeah, y'all bust my head down. You threw me down. I sure did. You wasn't listening. Yeah. No, it ain't. You had to throw me down like 
I'm disability. Okay. I got head problems. Yep. You throw me down. Yep. You throw me down. You throw me down. Yep. You bust my head down on the cement. Yep. You bust my head. Alright, let me tell you what. That's for him. The cement. Hey. Your head did get hit the cement. Damn right. Could you? Where's the complainer? You broke my head down. On the right here? No. You broke my head. You broke my head. Where's the complainer? You broke my head down. You're trying to get the name of the complainer. You broke my head. You broke my head down on the cement. Anybody has no gun. I live right there. Nobody has no gun. I ain't got no more for you. I ain't got nothing in me. Putting your change right in the pocket. Yeah, I'm right. You slam me, you slam my head down. Okay. What, what are we doing? I guess Sam was going to check him out. There ain't nothing about here on the press charges. Who called? I'm not sure. Take my cuffs right now. I mean, because that's what we got. You have to use the force. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Dude, I didn't know what his intention was. You need to have a little camera. Mm-hmm. All right. Don't sit there wrong. Slam my head down. Yeah. 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 Mayor, I'm going to take that into evidence of what he had. What? Well, I mean, it's, you know, that's that's the reasons I did what I did. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm coming from. Because when he was behind the truck, I couldn't see what he was doing. And I didn't know where... Where that went. If it was still in his pockets when he came around that car with his hands in his pockets. He stole it on camera. 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 Good, how are you? Hello? Okay. Yeah. Can I get a card for me? I don't have one, man. We don't have one. They, they, they don't give us cards. Okay, what's your badge number? 1059. Let me see if I can get my phone. Hold on. Hold on. We, we, we have cards. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Brandon, he can get his stuff off the truck. Even after restraining Mr. Mystic, the corrupt cops proceeded to taser him. This was unacceptable because under the ACLU's taser policy, Officers may use a taser only when it is reasonable to control a person under specific circumstances, such as if the individual is violent or poses a potential threat. Importantly, no verbal warning was given before the taser was deployed, violating the ACLU's policy, which requires a warning 
unless it would endanger the officers or is impractical due to the situation. Eventually, the corrupt cops placed Mr. Mystic in their car and awaited a responder. Upon arrival, he was taken to a hospital for evaluation and later transferred to Clear Creek County Jail. After spending four months there, Mr. Mystic filed a lawsuit in the U.S. District Court in Denver against Nicholas Hanning, Ellie Summers, the City of Idaho Springs, and the Clear Creek County Commissioners. He sought compensation for physical and emotional harm, pain and suffering, permanent scars, economic damages, and punitive sanctions against the corrupt cops to punish and deter their abuse of authority and rights violations. Officer Ellie Summers left the department weeks after the lawsuit was filed. As of this writing, no new information about the lawsuit has been released. Moving forward, we have a case where corrupt cops arrested a black woman who had called for help after her neighbor threatened to shoot her. On March 5, 2019, in Miami, Florida, the local police responded to a call from a black woman, Da Loving, who reported that her neighbor had made threatening calls using racial slurs and threatened to shoot her and her friend with a shotgun. Upon arrival, cops Alejandro Geraldo and J.F. Calderon spoke with the women who made the call. What, uh, all right, so which one of you called him, uh? I did, after he called you. You did. So who lives there? Me. You live there, and that's your friend? Yeah, I live in the, okay. in the next door, next not door, there. Next door, next door. You called me a hook. First? They calling me a hook. We hooked in your train. We didn't say no. Say we were walking on the, he was okay. like, Fine, and then I, and then we was like, yeah. like you know, I'm not gonna sit okay. there and let you call me out of my name, so especially he, so you've been doing it the past few days. And I, no, that's okay. not cool. Like how he's sitting you, here in his yard. You haven't called the police. Why well, am I gonna call the police for him calling me names? I'll just take my the house. But he pulled out a freaking. He a pulled shot, out a gun. A he shot pulled his gun. Pointed okay. it at my face. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. They told me he was gonna shoot me, and I didn't even have nothing to do with this. What color was the shotgun? I just saw the black barrel. It was black barrel. Wow, it's long. Can you hear me out? So he called you. You called him. Called me. He called me up. Was like hooked. Was like. But what I'm trying to figure out is at which point you actually stay on scene just to go to battle with him. We did it not say on scene. Fast. We were walking Give me one second. down the street. I'm asking her. Give me one second. Y'all screaming over here? I'm trying to figure it out. We're not. It's okay, not. We're out. not trying to scream. You know, we're okay. like. It doesn't matter. I get it. You're yeah. reacting, but no, 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 no. he gets it. Why can't you? Get no, it? no, no. I don't. I like get it, but I, but I, I don't like the tone of voice. Like, okay. Stop talking. Okay. So now. Stop talking. Okay. So now. So he calls you. You called him. At which point, if you see him going back inside the house, he didn't go in the house. He had a. With him already. He already, I don't yeah, know. I All mean, I know is he bent down, picked it up, and told me he was going to shoot me in the head. That's what he told me. Okay. It, it, it happened. He fast. never went in the house. Never went in the he house. He never went in the house. house. You saw it right there. So he, he, so he bent down. down. He, he has a bunch of trees. All we like know that. is he turned and came like up that. like this. Okay, give me a sec. During their conversation, one cop turned away to verify something while the others continued listening to the victims. The whole time we were right here. Like, is, is there cameras out here that can prove this? There's street cameras. There's okay, something. where are they? I don't he know. got cameras saying he, he got, got cameras. cameras. There's a camera right there. Y'all need to do something. Oh yeah, you need to chill out. Okay? I just asked if I could go down next door. And you need call to chill my out. Kids. You need to chill out because now you're gonna be arrested. Excuse me. You're being disorderly right now. I'm asking. You I'm talking to are her. You're gonna be arrested. I'm talking to this lady. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more chance. If you don't calm down, I'm gonna bring you in. I'm calm. The situation escalated when cop Geraldo threatened to arrest Miss Loving after she raised her voice. However, Geraldo had no grounds to arrest her as she was protected by the First Amendment, which guarantees freedoms concerning religion, expression, assembly, and the right to petition. It prohibits Congress from restricting individual religious practices or free speech and ensures the right to peaceful assembly. I'm calm. I just want to go talk to my kids. I have a very important phone call. Okay. I just asked if I could go next door and charge my phone. My daughter is sick. I, I don't have time for this. Screaming again. I'm freaking Second out. Second time, okay? You are acting disorderly. You will be arrested, okay? Get it right. Okay, we're going to help you out. We're going to help you out. Listen, we're here to investigate. Just calm down. You know what? She needs to be made correct, okay. if anything. Calm down. All right? Despite Miss Loving explaining that she needed to return home to her sick children, Geraldo still attempted to arrest her 
instead of de-escalating the situation. According to the U.S. Department of Justice's de-escalation policy, cops should use de-escalation tactics to gain voluntary compliance before resorting to force. Additionally, officers must have probable cause to believe a crime was committed, which was not the case here. Officer Geraldo's misconduct was further evident when he continuously interrupted a female cop who arrived to help de-escalate the situation. To be corrected when my life was just threatened and my daughter is sick, I just want to go Are next you gonna door and charge screaming? my phone. Oh, no. Do not Stop. touch me. Stop. Do not touch me. Stop. Do not touch me. Stop. Do not Stop. record this. Stop. Do not Stop. touch Stop. me. Do not Stop. touch Stop. me. Yes. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. I just said I wanted to call with my kids. Cops Geraldo and Calderon ignored attempts to de-escalate and proceeded to arrest Miss Loving by forcefully slamming her to the ground. This violated their department's use of force policy, which states that cops should only use force that is objectively reasonable under the circumstances to achieve a legitimate law enforcement purpose. I just said I wanted to call my kids. My phone is dead. What do you not understand? You're I got a gun right. pointed in front of me and my kids is sick. I'm stressed right. out. I need to go call my children. I need to call my kids. I don't know. Notably, the female cop present did nothing to stop her peers' brutality, violating the department's duty to intervene policy. This policy requires law enforcement officers to intervene when witnessing excessive force by another officer if it is objectively reasonable and possible to do so. The incident sparked outrage in many communities across the county. Miss Loving filed a lawsuit against the Miami-Dade Police Department, the county, and the involved cops, alleging false arrest, false imprisonment, malicious prosecution, negligent hiring and retention, failure to train and supervise, deprivation of civil rights through excessive force, battery, conspiracy, an intentional infliction of emotional distress. Officer Geraldo was sentenced to 364 days in jail, followed by 18 months of probation, and was required to attend anger management. Next, we discuss a case where a cop tased an unarmed African-American man while he was handcuffed and detained. On July 16, 2018, in Rand, Mississippi, Local cops were dispatched to catch a suspected shoplifter fleeing from a Walmart in a van. After a brief chase, they intercepted the driver before he could escape. However, what happened next was shocking. Despite the driver's compliance and lack of hostility, patrol cop Daniel Starks struck him twice, violating his department's use of force policy, which allows only the necessary amount of force based on the situation to achieve a legitimate law enforcement purpose. Stop right there, please stop! Please stop! Stop there! I got him, I got him. Oh. Uh, three, three. Uh. 583 to radio. 583 to radio. Signal four, one time, code uh. one. Flight mail, last ratio to says, fell off a wall. Hold on, sir. Way on your side. Coach on your side. Uh, yeah, I just did. Stop attack. Yeah. Uh, 583 also. One officer is injured from falling off the wall. Hold on, man. Uh, Without warning, Cop Starks tased the victim in the back of his left shoulder, causing him to collapse while screaming in pain. This action clearly violated the department's taser policy which permits taser use only when reasonably necessary to control a person under specific circumstances, such as if the individual is violent or poses a threat. Stay on your side, stay on your side. 
Get close. We need you got some closer. Right and we're gonna need somebody also to stay with him. Five eight three to Raven. If you can also start a couple more units. Hey no, hold on, don't move, don't move. Lay down, lay down, don't move. We got an ambulance coming, don't move. Don't move, we got an ambulance coming. Lay down, lay down, you got a last race on your head. Lay down. We have an ambulance coming. You need to stay still. I need you to lay down. Sir, I need you to lay down. I have an ambulance coming. Hold on, man. I've already let him know that you're hurt. And I got him too. You got plus? Hold on. Well, I got an ambulance coming. Stay still. Just sit down. Do you have any gloves on you, man? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, my back. Just lay down. Yeah, yeah. No, stay still. Stop. Lay down, man. I got an ambulance coming for you. You need to lay down. Lay down. We have an ambulance coming, man. You need to lay down. I need you to stay still. Do not move. You have a laceration on your head. No, they're not. They're both hurt. They, he jumped off the wall, then he hit his head, and he hurt his back off the wall. Stay still. Got an ambulance coming for you. I need you to stay still. However, you stretch out too, man. He started running as soon as he jumped off his wall. He tased him. He hit his head right here. He fell off. He jumped off the wall hurt his back. So... Other cops rushed to assist the victim, who was in severe pain. Cop Starks grabbed the victim's neck and forced him to stand, effectively administering a chokehold. This violates national policies that prohibit chokeholds, defined as lethal maneuvers that cut off blood and oxygen to the brain, including strangleholds and neck restraints. Additionally, while the victim was still on the ground, Starks pointed the stun gun at him again demanding he stand or face another taser discharge. The other cops who witnessed this chose not to intervene, violating their department's duty to intercede policy, which requires officers to stop excessive force when possible and report such actions to a supervisor. After the incident, Cop Starks was initially suspended without pay, but was eventually fired by the police department. He was later sent to court for a sentencing hearing, where he faced a potential maximum punishment of up to 10 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. Finally, we look at a case where a cop dragged a woman across the pavement during a jail booking. On November 17, 2022, in Tampa, Florida, local cops were dispatched to arrest a woman who had been sleeping outside a family health center and refused to leave the property. The way the corrupt cops handled the situation was, to say the least, unprofessional. To my car. Why are you saying that but pulling me? So go on and drag me because that's what you're doing anyway. Because you ain't walking. Just walk to my How car. How you going to tell me that but you pulling me as you said it didn't say it yet? We're just trying to lead you over here this way. Okay, you okay, doing it too. Coming. I feel the force on you too. Don't be nasty. That's y'all department. Welcome home. Don't be nasty. Yeah, man. If you're going to call me nasty, you're man. I'm, I'm going to call you nasty. I'm saying don't, don't be nasty. No, don't tell me what not to be when y'all doing it to me. Right here, yeah. Do you have anything on you that can harm me, poke me, sick me? After placing the woman inside their vehicle, cop Gregory Damon drove towards Orient Road Jail to book her in. Upon arrival, complications arose. When the f I got the right to get out the car when I had a right to get in the car? Miss Marshall, mm. get out the car, come on. Miss Marshall, I'm going to drag you out of this car. I already know. I don't want to drag you out, me. but I need you to come get I out of the car. I want you to so do what you did off the porch of the doctor's office. Come on. Drag me. Come on. I want you to drag me. Come girl. on. I ain't, I ain't Kick your feet out. I ain't kicking your feet out. Next you be telling me to open my leg for your dunk. Come on. Yeah. That's what you're going to have to do. That's what you did at the porch. 
That what you want you in it. And I want you to get that feeling. Guess why? Because I was raised a ton, boy. Such a ball projects. So guess what? I'm used to being rough. Yeah. <laughs> You Stand want up. me by your dumb. Stand up. You want me by, you can't pick my up, can you? That's what the officer was jealous Stand of. up, come on. He couldn't pick my big up. He was jealous of my big You want me in this position, dog? Uh -huh. I'm a clown, boy. I'm going to fall off my, you ain't hurting me at all. CPV, no. Such a ball project. Tom, boy. Jump walls. Nigga. Man, because you can't pick my big Oh. Hey, fetish. Look, I went to all the high school. Guess how much I I, I lift weights? Uh, one hundred and thirty pounds. Yeah, I bet you can even bitch one thirty count. That's why your officer was mad. You can see, I, I lift the weights at all the wood. He don't like my belt. You bought was the mother officer that arrested me. Shit. Yep. And tell deputy she got some nerves and think I would want to be a deputy. I went to motherhood, mother daddy. Do what? I grew up around officers doing dumb shit. Yeah, she ain't walking, so I mean, I can, I can drag her in, but. After the incident, Damon brought the woman inside and booked her in. An internal investigation revealed that Damon had violated numerous policies, including those related to searching, transporting, booking prisoners, courtesy to the public, responses to resistance, and treatment of persons in custody. Subsequently, Cop Damon was terminated by the Tampa Police Department. Thank you for watching U.S. Corrupt Cops. We hope these stories shed light on the critical need for integrity and justice in law enforcement. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe for more content exposing the realities of police corruption. Remember, staying informed is the first step toward fostering a fair and just system. See you in the next video.